This video is going to go over how to grade a test that only has one version. Uh, I'm going to pick up having already scanned in my data and done the review. So what I'm going to do is click on Analysis and Grade Wizard. And since we only have one version, we don't need to mess with this Construct Multiple Answer Keys. So we just click Next on the screen. And now this is where we need to put in the key. So there's a couple ways to do this. One is you can sit here and just um, type this in with the different responses. Um, but you can also scan in a uh, key if you've already filled one in on one of the bubble sheets. So I've done that. So I'm going to click on Read Wizard and Get Key. And it's already in the scanner, so I can just click on Read. And this is just going to scan just like a test does. You can see I've got all my responses in here, and this is a 10-question test, so it goes up to question 10. I can click on Next, and I just want to make sure that it's uh, grading the correct questions. So 1 through 10 should be selected, and then starting with 11, they shouldn't be selected. And just as a double check, I'm going to click on my first question that's not included, so that's question 11. Go all the way to the end, hold down the Shift key, and click on that and just make sure all of those are unchecked. So that's just a quick, ma quick way to make sure that the right questions are not being graded. Click on Next, and for your grading scale, I'm going to select General Scale with pluses and minuses. And this is just for labeling within Remark. You're always going to have a raw score to export to do whatever you want with your own grades. And click on Next. I don't have to do anything here, so click on Next, and finally Finish. Do you want to save for later? You say Yes. And I'm going to go back to my uh, test folder. I'm just going to call this example test data and save. And so if we wait a second, so now the option for reports comes up and reports are going to be covered in the next video.